Mark this down on your calendar. Saturday, October 5th. That's the date of this year's Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. When we expect to see thousands of women, men, and children walking and running to raise money for Komen Research to find a cure for breast cancer. It is not too late to sign up. We'll get a team together to be a part of this difference-making event. Hope you can make that. Here this morning to talk about the event and some of the ongoing research that makes Komen success so important, Julie Voss, the executive director of Susan G. Komen Houston, and Dr. Valentina Hoyos, the assistant professor at the Center for Cell and Gene Therapy at the Dan L. Duncan Comprehensive Cancer Center, Baylor College of Medicine. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Full disclosure, I signed on as co-chair of this year's race, along with the Komen board member, Ellen Elam. So I have a vested interest in seeing that this race succeed. Julie, let's talk about this. this is the 29th annual event that this race has been going on. Let's talk about um, how the money raised is going to be spent on research. Sure, sure. So for every dollar raised, 75 cents stays here in Houston for local programs to help women and men mm -hmm. that are fighting breast cancer for screening. Mm -hmm. But 25 cents of every dollar goes toward our national research program. Mm -hmm. And that funds cutting edge research across the country. But we are so fortunate here in Houston to have the Texas Medical Center and to have some of the best and brightest researchers across the world. So mm -hmm. quite a bit of that comes back here. And I know that one of the goals is to reduce breast cancer deaths by 50% of the United States by 2026. And that is a big, big goal based upon our the history of cancer. Talk about how, you, we talk about how the local money is raised and it goes toward that national uh, research, but it filters back in that way yes. it really does make a big impact. It does. So um, since Komen has started funding research, our local researchers have been fortunate enough to receive almost $94 million in research funding. And that has funded 200 innovative grants that have looked at treatment and diagnosis for breast cancer. And Dr. Hoyos, you're in the business of doing that kind of research, are you I not? Sure am. Talk about the challenge that you face. I mean, this is, I mean, we talked about you're in the um, cell and gene therapy. That is a unique part of what goes into trying to research how the these breast cancers work and how we can fight them? Yes, so actually my research focuses on um, trying to make the immune system attack cancer using the patient's own cells. That's why it's okay. cell and gene therapy. So we take T cells from the patients and we train them to attack cancer cells and then give them back to the patient. And this is translational research we, because we take what has been already discovered and try to make it into new therapies to be able to treat patients. Every time I hear about this sort of thing, it is really amazing to me about how this works. What, what was it that, was it a point where it was determined that that is a great way, instead of just fighting disease with chemicals and, and having people go through chemotherapy, this is another way to fight? Immunotherapies, you know, have been really booming in the past 10 years for cancer treatments. Um, and T cells have been found to be one of the main um, orchestrators of mm -hmm. the immune system. Mm -hmm. And but unfortunately, in, in cancer patients, for some reason, the immune system does not recognize the cancer as something strange. It doesn't attack. So we have to kind of boost the immune system. Try to, in 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 different ways, uh, make it recognize that this is not a normal cell. This is a cell that I need to eliminate. What is it that keeps you optimistic about this? I mean, obviously, it is groundbreaking. It is what we're doing. But it takes a long time, does it not, to get these things isolated and make progress in trying to find that cure? Absolutely. It takes a long time. And uh, what keeps me motivated is that we have come so far. I mean, there are some T-cell therapies that are already approved for different cancers. And so I think it's within the next five years we're going to see them approved for other cancers, including maybe breast cancer. That's my hope. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about, before we started taping, about how long this process yeah. takes. Yeah. Someone who hears about breast cancer research and the kind of therapies that are going on, talk a little bit about why it takes so long to try to find the kind of progress that you're trying to find. So research in general has different phases. The first is basic research, which is very important. This is where the discoveries come. They, they're investigators in the lab trying to understand what's unique about cancer and uh, what molecules are there, what pathways drive this division of cells that is not controlled. With everything that is discovered in the basic research then comes translational research, which is where I focus on, mm. which is out of these things, how can we 
make a new treatment or new therapy for patients. And that's a, a, it's done in the lab, but it's also done maybe in animal models in some cases. After that come clinical trials, and these are phase one, phase two, and phase three. The first phases are just to make sure that this therapy is safe. And then the phase three is usually multi-center, many, many patients to be able to see if it actually works. And so this whole process takes about, about 10 years. Right. We're making it shorter and shorter because of funding from institutions that help us make it go you know faster and that's what I wanted people to know get a sense about that. that's why Coleman comes into play and that's why yeah. this event comes up that's why it's so important right. that people get out and support talk about the race itself and what we can expect on race day and people can come out and just really want to be involved in yeah it. so it's an awesome fun day um, you can come out you can register even the day of the race registration will open at 6 and then the race starts at 8 and then it's really just a very fun party atmosphere we're expecting about 10 thousand participants and then their families and friends so it'll be a big crowd um, lots of survivors that are all you know walking and running to show that they have beat breast cancer women who are fighting breast cancer and their supporters and families it is a festive occasion mm -hmm. it really is if you've not done this you need to really get out and make a point to come out October 5th is the date. It's going to be at Sam Houston Park is where it's centered. As long as the Allen Parkway is where it gets going there. 8 o'clock. You can register starting at 7 o'clock. Come on out there. Register between now. If you, if you wake up in that morning you say, I want to come out and do it, come out and do it. We're going to work on our end to try to make sure the weather's okay. Yes. Can't promise. You're going to try that. I'm going to do my best as anyway. <laughs> October 5th is the date. Mark that. Get out and support. You can you get on my Facebook page. I'll have some information. You can support the team that Channel 2 is going to have out there as well. Julie, Dr. Hoyos, thank you. Thank you. Thank for you. what you do. Thank you for coming out. We look forward to all of you joining us on that morning. Hope you'll join us on October 5th. Thanks.